Hello, I'm Richard Marbs, president of DAV's Charitable Service Trust. On behalf of the trust and our board of directors, I'm proud to present our 2020 annual report. The transition to civilian life is a major adjustment for those who serve, especially for those who were changed because of their service. Veterans are resilient by nature, but even the hearts of warfighters can be challenged when the foundation they know is removed and cannot be fully replaced. The trust looks for programs and services that will ease this transition and reconnect veterans with opportunities to enhance their health and outlook on life for them and their families. As a veteran myself, and as an amputee who lost my leg in service, I can't tell you how important families and communities are. They help veterans regain their sense of dignity, purpose, and belonging after an injury. Your support of the trust makes you a valuable contributor in our work to renew lives. The trust carefully evaluates and addresses the most vital needs of ill and injured veterans and their families while empowering them to maximize their quality of life after combat. More than 96 cents out of every donated dollar directly supports programs that contribute to the victories the trust makes possible. In 2019, the trust received the coveted four-star rating from Charity Navigator for the 15th time since being evaluated in 2002 and its first perfect score rating. As Charity Navigator is the nation's largest independent charity evaluator, this acknowledgement speaks volumes about the trust's careful and efficient stewardship of donated funds. Corporate matching gift programs, bequests, and other forms of contributions from corporations, foundations, and individual donors enable the trust to fulfill its mission. In 2019, these gifts, along with income derived from investments, total more than $10 million allowing the trust to devote nearly $9 million toward critical health care, education, employment, transition assistance, creative healing, therapeutic activities, addressing both physical and psychological barriers, and legal services. While we all know how families play a vital role in a veteran's health and well-being, the trust has placed an emphasis on assisting organizations dedicated to helping families heal together. In doing so, the trust grants have supported wellness, mentoring programs, and alternative therapies aimed to improve the quality of life for veterans and their families. Through the wide range of initiatives supported by the trust, we are able to aid and assist veterans through a multitude of challenges. Today, we are extremely proud to highlight the Veterans Consortium. Last year, the Veterans Consortium received a $1 million grant from the trust. The grant fully supports the organization's discharge upgrade program in providing legal assistance to veterans seeking to upgrade their less than honorable discharges. Through the Veterans Consortium's discharge upgrade program, Pro bono attorneys are recruited and trained to represent veterans before discharge review boards and boards for correction of military records. The Veterans Consortium reviews discharge cases and primarily represents veterans who received other than honorable discharges due to misconduct related to post-traumatic stress disorder, military sexual trauma, traumatic brain injury, and other related mental health issues. This program has been in existence for more than two years and has already provided help to over 2,000 veterans, either by providing direct legal representation or other support. Funds from the trust will cover costs of personnel and other expenses associated with the program, including the training of pro bono attorneys and outreach materials. Let's take a look at how this program is helping to change the lives of some of our ill and injured service members. November 29th of 2012, that accident forever changed my life. We rolled three times, slid 150 feet, 
every time we just rolled and I was like, is this going to be it? Is this going to be my life? Is this going to be it? And then we slid and you could just feel the sparks and the heat off the road. I got diagnosed with TBI late effect, which I didn't know until I got out. They didn't follow TBI protocol. When you're sleeping in a car and you don't have any money for food or gas, you kind of at the bottom. But when you're at the bottom, the only way you can go is up. When I first met with Anthony, I was very impressed. He had gathered all his medical records. He had written personal statements. I used the mindset that they gave us in the military. You adapt, overcome, and achieve. You don't take no for an answer. There's always another way. When a veteran receives an other than honorable discharge, it affects all aspects of their life. They generally fall into homelessness, more likely to end up in the criminal justice system. At the Veterans Consortium Pro Bono Program, we believe that our veterans, our nation's defenders, deserve the care, benefits, and compensation they were promised, and the best legal services free of charge to meet those challenges. We gather all their records for them, their service records, their medical records. We help them gather statements. We help them write their own personal statement so we can best show their story and make sure that everything is heard. The system is difficult to understand even for someone who knows it. I've heard countless stories of veterans who get frustrated with the system, they give up, just like you wouldn't try to treat an illness without a doctor. These types of claims really need the assistance of an expert. We want them to know that we are here to advocate for them. get lost at the agency. Being kind of the front lines um, and our client services team, we're able to assess where they're at, help them with their forms, make sure things are done correctly. Veterans Consortium, this is Josie. Oftentimes we're the first live person that they have gotten a hold of, and so they are always excited to talk to us and get out what they need to say, which we feel is important, so we can get them to the best resource that we can. Attorneys help carry the burden, carry the load, that many veterans have been harboring for seven to 10 years on average. We provide wraparound support to our volunteers in training, in resource support, and in mentor support. We assign a mentor for each case within our program. Our mentors are among some of the most committed, responsive, invested, and knowledgeable practitioners in this area. As a veteran, TVC was my first choice, not least because it has over 25 years uh, of experience in helping veterans uh, win their cases on, on appeal. We really do rely on pro bono resources and pro bono attorneys. Working with these veterans, especially those that suffer from severe mental health conditions, really does give your life a sense of purpose. You know that you're out there fighting for someone that needs it. You know that you're there to listen to the person that needs to be heard. You know that you are there to make a difference in their life. I like to stand up for the person who seemingly does not have a voice. Veterans hold a special place in my heart. I am just so passionate about making things right for these individuals who've given so much for our nation. The Veterans Consortium did miracles for me. I have money now. I have security. I'm a veteran. <laughs> the proudest thing I'm able to say. You can't go back and change time but you can change the future. As service members and as veterans, we take care of our own. I think it's important to contribute to that effort to, to help veterans get what Congress said they deserve. The Trust is proud of its legacy of service to empower veterans. 
These wonderful programs are truly life-changing and provide much needed assistance to those who served. Thanks to the loyal supporters, corporations, and foundations who generously donate to the trust each year, veterans are able to access the resources and services they need to lead high quality lives with respect and dignity. As I close out this year's report, I wanna thank each of you for the work you've done and the work you continue to do all in the name of our brothers and sisters who served this nation. Thank you for the opportunity to make this presentation virtually and to recognize the tremendous services and support provided by the trust grant recipients despite the unprecedented circumstances surrounding the current pandemic. Find out more about DAV's Charitable Service Trust and keep up to date with our initiatives at cst.dav.org.